This is a neat little project. Ockcaster, I guess is how you would say it. This was brought to my attention by uh, one of my patrons on Patreon. It's a project that's been around for a while. Apparently it hasn't, uh, besides them fixing a typo in the readme file two weeks ago, uh, this hasn't been updated in seven years, the main part of the project, which is basically th just this one file. And what it is, it's this that you see down on the screen here. It is a first person shooter similar to Wolfenstein or Doom, uh, but written in the awk programming languages. So it runs your shell, completely text-based, and uh, it's neat. Uh, it's a neat little concept. If you look at this file, it isn't very long, uh, about 650 lines, which is impressive for, you know, a first-person shooter. And it runs your shell just using your terminal. And then here, here's the maps. So here's the map. I haven't played with that, but I guess you can edit the map. And the point is to find an elevator and press X. I, I have yet to find the elevator, although if, if I did find it, I probably wouldn't know I was in it. Um, but let's go ahead and download this. Again, probably just need this one awk file, but I'm going to go here. I'm going to say uh, copy the link for the download. I am then going to go to my shell, and I'm going to wget that file. Then I will unzip that master file, move into the directory, and then what you need is gawk to run this. So gawk-f, gawk is, might already be installed in your system. If not, it should be in your repositories. Uh, we'll give it the file name of, uh, again, awkcaster, um, you know, like, like raycaster, awkcaster.awk. Run that, and here you are. Uh, it's WASD to move around, uh, and then L and J to move left, or turn left and right. I guess you can hold down shift to move faster. Space will shoot a bullet out. Uh, and the, the screen only seems to update when you move. Uh, and then uh, you can change color mode uh, one through four. So one, two, three, and four. Let's go with three, the solid there. And I guess depending on your terminal and how you have your system set up, one might look better than another. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. You're gonna walk around and it does ray casting to draw everything out. You have collision with walls. You can even wall slide if you hit a wall at an angle. Oh, there's a bad guy. And I shot him. Yes, I shot him. There we go, and I shot that bad guy. And you can see my health points down at the bottom and my score down at the bottom. It tells me a gun's ready. Uh, once you shoot, you it, there's a little bit before you can shoot again. And you can press X to escape. You know, it's very much, you know, a text-based uh, first-person shooter, just like Doom or Quake. Obviously, or more like Wolfenstein than Quake. Um, Obviously, you know, it's not as graphically appealing, but it's still a neat concept. I couldn't see me playing this for hours, but uh, I'm, I'm just amazed what can be done by just one or two people and a very small text file and an editor or a language like awk, which is not originally designed for something like this. Um, yeah, so check it out. Simple to install. Uh, if we go back to the... Uh, Git page here. Uh, you can see it's under an MIT license. It uh, has a Docker file and some instructions to install using Brew and stuff. I guess I guess you need to install Gawk is, is what it's showing here, or Gawk. Um, yeah, but once you have Gawk installed, again, you might already have it on your system if you're running Linux. If not, it's in the repositories. Then you just need this one file, and you can play this first-person shooter. Anyway, I thought this was really neat, so I thought I would share it. Uh, if you think it's neat, or if you know of any projects similar to this, let me know in the comments below, and I'll check it out. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'll link to that in the description. And if you like my videos, uh, you can become a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash x 1000 I thank you for all all my supporters, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.